Well, hello there, and welcome back to the lands of Akathen. No professionals, no fancy tech, just a group of women playing an all-original game of Dungeons & Dragons. I'm Jeff, your Game Master, and here's what happened last time. After Aralakas' departure, Athgar summoned Sten to brief her on the current state of affairs and her official appointment as Seneschal of Thunder's Edge. Sten received the news in stunned fashion and accepted Athgar's request that her first official duty as Seneschal be to travel into the desert and make a base of operations from which to train the Bolinamard orcs. Sten asked the four to accompany her as her guard, to which they agreed. They then split up, Gwen going to find Wiggy, and learning that he had hired a secretary and a bodyguard for the office in the Outer Enclave that would receive people's messages for their new lord. Meanwhile, Arabelle, Tasha, and Zorith returned to the Four Home, where Arabelle and Tasha played outside with Emberheart, while Zorith inside uh, wrote in her journal. When Gwen arrived at the Four Home, they decided to introduce Emberheart to Zack and vice versa, with Zack being very nervous about his home now, including a wolf. Gwen departed to have dinner with Athgar, where they discussed the Outer Enclave office progress, as well as the Four's intention to pursue the Talons of Zuthos after the Orc camp was established. Arabelle and Zorith accompanied Tasha to the Ivory's Wrath, where Tasha arranged to play for the crowd for dinner. After talking with Athgar, when Gwen arrived at the Ivory's Wrath, the four women discussed the status of Gwen and Athgar's relationship. Zorith and Arabelle gave Gwen some very straightforward advice, and Gwen left to take that advice up with Athgar. Zorith and Arabelle ordered alcoholic drinks, which they had not been drinking previously, before sitting down to listen, listen, to listen, it sounds like I've been drinking, before sitting down to listen to Tasha's third and final set of the night. And that is where we pick up. So, at the Ivory's Wrath. Still playing. Still drinking. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes. Are you okay with where things are with you and Alor? Uh... I look to see where he is. Uh, she would have not asked that if Alaric was standing behind her. <laughs> He's many tables away, yeah. taking an order. <clears throat> I mean, earlier, what you said in, when Gwen was still here about the kissing, if you weren't ready for it, or... Um... I mean... Gwen says she doesn't know how to do this. She's done things, and I have no idea how to do any of this. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what is appropriate and what's not. Like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Okay. Well, you know I'm here if you need me. Okay, thanks. And then when I get significantly shitty and my brandy is done, I'm going home. Whether anybody else goes with me or not. How much do I make? Uh, good question. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, three gold, 
One silver, two copper. One copper? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Aloric, before you leave, hands you uh, another two gold. Okay. And I oops, sit down with at the table. Okay. And say, well, that was an evening well spent. You played very well, as always. Thanks. Did I finish my brandy before she left, or am I still there? Uh, your choice. How fast did Zorth drink it? pretty fast, so I'm probably gone. Okay. What happened to Zori? I think she just needed some time. Okay. Are you ready to go home? Whenever you are. <clears throat> I'll have one more drink, and then we can go home. caravel has been sipping hers this whole time. Okay. We'd be surprised if she wasn't. <laughs> We'd know something was really wrong if she wasn't. All right. A lot of relationship drama. Things. I guess. All right. Well, um, are, are we done talking? <laughs> I don't know. Are you? Well, no, I was about to ask her something. If you need us to be done, mm. I can. No, you can. <clears throat> what about you, Tasha? You seem to be above the relationship drama. Well, no one has really shown up that would be of interest to me. And honestly, before I met you all, Relationships in the army are not a good idea. I can see that. I couldn't date anyone below me, and I couldn't date anybody ranked higher than me. So that didn't leave me a whole lot. And I've been in the army my entire adult life. And you didn't exactly have great relationship role models growing up either. No. <laughs> Not at all. So, <sighs> if someone presented themselves, I might consider it. But no one has. Do you have a type? I have no idea. And you? No, well, mine's a little different, I guess. Well, we're both a little broken, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, there's been attraction, but which surprised me because I kind of thought that would never happen again. But never said nothing, ever. Nothing that could ever go anywhere. Mm. We'll just sit back and watch them for now. I, I guess. guess. <laughs> well, let's go home. Yeah. Finishes the last two sips of her drink. <laughs> uh, Zorith, when you get back to the four home, you walk in and find Emberheart sitting, staring at the door to the basement. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and he kind of looks over when you walk in and the tail wags a little bit, but it doesn't move. I guess she didn't tell you that it lives downstairs. Do you gotta go potty? Let's go potty. And he just so I... looks at you and then looks back at the door. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. Mine might not be home tonight. That could be a problem. I can't talk with animals. Can I talk with animals? I can't talk with animals. <sighs> I look at him. And I... Slowly and exaggeratedly walk over to the front door. Okay. Open it. Point to it. And then I put my hands in front of my crotch and I do like the little pee pee dance. Make and then a, I point to it again. Make an animal handling check. Animal At disadvantage, because you're tipsy. 19. A 19. <laughs> oh, that's Hold pretty on. good. Animal handling's plus one, so 20 either way. Wow. <laughs> she speaks wolf when she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. Would Zorith have done the same thing if she wasn't drunk? Maybe, probably not. But he, I don't know. he he kind of looks over and he, he kind of cocks his head for a second, and then he looks back at the door, looks back at you, gets up and trots over to the open door. And I will stand and wait for him to go potty. Okay. Which he does, and then he comes back in and goes back and sits back down in front of the basement door. Okay, great. As long as you went potty, I'm good. And I stumble up the stairs. <laughs> well, Arabelle and Tasha, when you get home, you're greeted by the same sight. He looks over and, you know, tail thumps. And then he looks back at the door. And I say, you should go to bed. Amber Hart, bed. And he looks at you and looks back at the door. Sit down and scratch him behind the ears. Tail thumps. How big is he? He's a full-sized wolf. Oh, okay. Not a baby. No. 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 He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, no, he's a young adult. <clears throat> but he physically has grown about as much as he's going to. So, well, I'm assuming the door to Gwen's room is open because she said the bed. Walk over there and shake the bed and put it back in there. <laughs> Make an animal handling check. It'd be fairly good because it's charisma. Oh no, it's wisdom. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Ember Hart cocks his head again, looks at you, and then gets up, trots over, grabs his bed, and drags oh. it into the doorway of the room, and then turns around a couple times and plops down with his head on his paws, staring at the basement door. Oh my god. Do you want to play with Zach? I need some toys, like a ball or something. <laughs> Do I have anything that would bounce? <clears throat> what is it? I don't know. I mean, we probably were playing outside with a stick or something. I could go get one. Are there sticks in the desert? There has to be. There's something. Well, there are trees in town. 
Yeah. But they're mostly palm trees. Yeah, eh, still something to toss. What's in my bag? I don't know. Rot of Resurrection would work. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll grab a spoon or something, like a wooden utensil. That's like a stick. Okay. I sit down next to him and kind of wave it at him. And then I toss it. And he looks at it, looks okay. up at you. I point to it. He looks back at the at the spoon. Go get it. And then looks back at the door and just sit there and pet him. Okay. Right. How long do you sit there? A while. Arabelle's got stuff on her mind. Okay. I go to bed. Okay. Night, Tasha. Good night. All right. I would assume eventually Arabelle goes to bed as well. Or falls asleep next to the wolf. <laughs> Okay. Well, you probably sleep for about an hour or so, and then you are awakened by two things that happen virtually simultaneously. Emberheart leaps to his feet, and you hear a very kobold like, ah! and the door slam. Because Emberheart has run over to the door, <laughs> tail just furiously wagging. As that came up? Yeah. Opened the nice. door, saw the wolf immediately running toward him, <laughs> went, ah! slammed the door. It's, o it's okay, Zach. <laughs> Emberheart. Mm. Whatever the signal is that Gwen uses to make him heal. Uh, make a history check to see if you can remember what it is. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 23. Okay, and then make an animal handling check. Let's see. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, Emberhard immediately comes trotting back over turns around a couple times, lays back down on the doggy bed. Good boy. Looking Stay. at the door. Stay. Zach, you can come up. You scared him. I get up, take the bed, go over to the couch. Come on. Put the bed where he can see the door. Okay. And lay down. I don't want him to be alone since he's never been here. Okay. Well, he accepts the the relocation. Then, um Lay there and scratch him behind the ears till I fall back asleep. Okay. Um, a little while after that, Gwen, you get back. And uh, you walk in. You see the door to your room is open. And as you kind of glance into the living room, you see that Emberheart's dog bed is now in the living room and he's on it paws like this staring at the basement door 
when you walk in, he, you know, raises his head and the tail is thump, thump, thump. And then you see Arabella sleep on the couch. Another hand on his back. <laughs> I cast Speaks with Animals and I whisper, Are you waiting for Zek? Yes. Taste good. Want to lick more. <laughs> oh, um, I don't. I don't know if he wants you to lick him more. Not lick more? <laughs> no, not lick more. I think um, he he's not a fan of licking as a form of communication. Is that normal in this pack? That licking is bad? Um... I think that some people would enjoy that and others would not in this pack. You you are welcome to lick me. I think that the others would probably be okay with that. Zek is not a fan. I'm sorry. Would you like belly rubs? Yes, please. <laughs> can you bring your bed up and we will, I, I can give you belly rubs. Where should I take it? To my my space. Okay. And uh, he slips out from under Arabelle's hand, which I don't know if that wakes her or not. Yeah. And she's already been woken up. One, she can sleep. Grabs <laughs> grabs his his bed and trots into your room with it. Once he's on his bed, I give him belly rubs. Okay. And tell him he's a good boy. <laughs> the bestest boy. And then I go to bed. Okay. All right. All right. It is the following morning. Uh, I would guess that Zorith is the first awake. Maybe, but she's definitely not the first one downstairs. Right. That I was not going to assume. I'll head downstairs as soon as I wake. Okay. All right. Neverheart trotting at your heels. I get him his breakfast and uh, take him for a quick trip outside. Okay. Arabelle's probably up in her room praying at this point. He doesn't resume sitting in front of the door, but he looks at the door every time he passes it. I pat him on the head and say, I, I wish that, that Zek appreciated your attention as much as you appreciate Zek. So once he's tended to, I'll get my own breakfast. Okay. Jorath comes down a little bit later. Would I have a headache from just that? No. Probably not. Well, uh, make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, I like that. Seventeen. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. I uh, go to Gwen and I say, hey, uh, what is the signal for potty? Cause he I was show sitting... her. Okay, great. Because I was sitting here and he was looking at Zek's door and then I was like, potty? Let's go potty. And then he just looked at me crazy. And so then I, and I show her what I did. <laughs> and then I say, 
And I opened the door and he seemed to know what I was talking about, but he doesn't want potty, but I would probably just much rather learn the sign for it. And so she teaches it to me? Yep. I do. Okay, great. Awesome. And then I start, like, gathering stuff for breakfast. Uh, okay. Okay, good. I now know the sign for potty. And uh, Emmerhart lays down under the table, but you do notice that he's still pointed at the basement door. <laughs> so cute. <sighs> he has an affection for the taste of Zek. Oh no. Like, did he lick Zek? Or... He did. He licked his face. And found him very tasty. <gasps> oh no. Not in a he wants to eat him sort of way, but he would like to lick him more. <laughs> I had to explain that that was not going to work for Zek. Zek is like an eighth his size, right? Jeff? I think kobolds are about like two feet tall. So a quarter his size? No, half, half his size. Yeah, about I guess. half his size. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, probably not wanting to be licked. Uh, but that makes me curious as to why he wants to continue licking him. Do you think he thinks he's kind of tasty? He, he told me that he that Zek tastes good. Oh, I don't think we taste good to him like that, do we? He did not mention that we did. No. <sighs> Yeah, so you said no licky? I told him no licky. He was disappointed. I tried to uh, cheer him up with belly rubs. I figured this is about the time Arabelle comes down and she's very confused. <laughs> no licky? <laughs> and cheering him up with belly rubs. Right. <clears throat> I learned the sign for go potty. And then I show uh, Arabelle. Oh, I took Emma Hart. Okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What do you think we were talking about? I and was not I just, sure. I just keep talking. And I'm <laughs> like, this is what I did instead. And I show her. And I was like, he seemed to know what I was talking about. But I now know the sign. And now you know the sign. And then I, I'm going to ask Gwen um, about how long of his... Um, like, how long can he hold it? Um, probably you wouldn't want to go more than about eight hours. Six okay. to eight. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Z Zach started to come upstairs last night. And then Emperor Hurt got very excited and Zach ran back downstairs. Apparently, Ember Hart thinks Zach tastes good. So, I, can that. I mean, I, hurt. I have asked him not to lick Zek, uh, <laughs> which was very disappointing. I mean, kobolds are like reptile dogs, right? So maybe there's some kind of canine taste, like a kinship, or like a I want to eat you ship. I would think kinship, maybe. I mean, when you when kobolds are running around, they're often in like packs too, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe he thinks he's like a scaly wolf. Oh, did not consider that. <clears throat> I come downstairs and I say, "Scaly wolf, kobold." Ah, this is the signal for potty. No more than six to eight, ten hours, ten for like longest ever. N not for Zek, for Emberheart. <laughs> so why was Eber Emberheart staring at the door? He wants to play with Zek. We hope. Okay. He got very excited when Zek started to come up in the middle of the night. But... Oh boy.
Well, I think most of the time Ember Heart will be with us, so we won't have to worry about yes. leaving him. That is fortunate. And once we have the doggy door in place, you all shouldn't have to worry about letting him out. Right. I wonder and, is... Oh. Oh, uh, just... Tasha, could you make it so that whenever we stay in the in the mansion that um, he can come and go at will like the rest of us? Sure. She could I also make that. like a little grassed in potty yeah. area for him because it wouldn't stick around. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. I could do that. Um, will we need to... Is our house warded? I think I brought this up one other time. It is not. That's not. Mm, how's not working? Yeah, we should. Um, look into that. Um, and then ask them if they can do more doggy door. Also, you know, so people mm -hmm. can't just come on in because he's a pretty big wolf. That's a good idea. Yeah. So let let me look into us getting warded. Well, we have. Me... Does Jerry Ann still check on it, or did she hire somebody? Have we hired somebody else? I don't even know. Well, we had hired Jerry Ann, but I don't know with her job working for Viesa if she still checks on our house. Don't know. I presume she does. It was clean when we got here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they would let somebody else come in our house without telling us. It's probably her or Wiggy. Of course, I can't see Wiggy dusting, but stranger things have happened. Boy. Well, would anybody like breakfast? Yeah, I've, I've been working on it. Uh, Gwen, um, do you have to go back to the office every day? No, I don't have to go back at all. Okay. They are self-sufficient. Uh -huh. So if Sten's ready, we'll probably head to the desert today? Um, today? Yeah, I don't know. What are, we, what are our plans? Well, we have to make sure Sten's ready to go. Right, I said if she's ready. Yeah. I thought we had a couple of days. I don't know. I was just assuming whenever Sten was ready, she'd tell yeah. us, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess... If we, well, and I don't... I mean, if we want to stay, I'm sure she wouldn't object to us taking a few more days. Well, we do need I to get the orcs ready, somewhere. I would be ready to go tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I don't think we have anything pressing today, do we? No. I don't. Okay. Whatever Gwen needs to take care of and then Do we okay. have a do we have a list of all the things we have to accomplish? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Can somebody to... can we go over the list? <clears throat> yeah, it's long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I I can't remember half of it. But some of them are like overlapping. Sure. Yeah, I'll put it up in the... Okay, this is like mm, a month ago. We talked about it. We did. But... No, I'm just saying, this is when I wrote it down. So if we've changed oh, okay. things since then, this is our major list. Okay. That, that talks to my parents. Obviously a long-term thing. My tattoo backstory, we're going to get to it eventually. As it um, comes up. <laughs> yeah, Morthwill new check sewers. We told Viesa. Uh, the dragon fight is finished. We're unsure what the dragons are going to do after that. Because they have been um, helping constantly. We don't know what the army's going to do either. Um, um, uh, Arabelle's armor, which goes in with the Jogger Varman. We had Aralakis on here, but we do not mean to. Gwen's Wolf has been taken care of. The Cesarin in the spring, they'll be coming back. There's a lot to talk to them about, but also, do they come to Thunder's Edge first? No, they do not, because they're up north. No, they're down south. They're by Sandy Cove, I think right. is the closest. I was actually going to ask Aloric last night when I was asking when it, if it, how far into spring we were, but we got distracted. What would Aloric know? Because Wait, he's here, he would know when they come here. If there's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, good, good. Uh, JoJo's wedding, apparently. Mm -hmm. 
the training academy. Yes. Um. And the slaves who rescued. The orcs. Uh, I have the sprite and the platinum hammer. The platinum hammer was something that was like had been mentioned to us how it was not potentially on the up and up. So that was just something we were supposed to kind of look at. Yeah, we should. We should. I think VS has that. been checking into that and gave I, us an update the last time we were there. Okay, so that's that's three things we should contact VS about. What are, What are the other ones? The wedding. Well, there, we assume and, that they'll. And the Thwill knew. Oh, no, I, I have on here that I already told Viesa. I know, but we should check up. Let's see if she found anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Also, I can give you an update. I did ask Athgar about um, the Jagravanan. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he said that he's discovered that his father has an extensive spy network in multiple areas of the world and that he will be meeting with the head of that network and will ask about the Jagravanan. Oh, oh, that's good. Thank what you is that? that? Thanks. I think he said it was soon. Okay. okay. Right on. Ugh, man, this Jagravanan thing is gonna... It's gonna take a while, too. It's gonna be big, man, and it's just... I kind of wonder if the hammer is somehow connected to the Jagravanan. I feel like that we heard that they were like small potatoes or something. Like, I, think I don't know. So. I can't remember and it would take me too long to look. Um, Tasha <clears throat> may remember. Does, does Tasha remember? No, this would have been, I think, more than a month ago. Okay. Um, what time is it? It's early morning, probably eight. Okay, too early. Um, too early for contacting Viesa. I mean, no, it's really. later there. Oh, is it like two hours later there? But yeah, so it's yeah. maybe 10. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna drink one more cup of coffee. <laughs> And then I'm going to contact, I'm going to send a, um, whatchamacallit? Sending? Orberus is greater Sunday. Don't use those if you don't have to. Well, it's a unless conversation. You're to, one. Unless you're talking to more than one person. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it, do a sending to Sten and find out what her timeline is for going to the desert. Because that tells okay. me a lot about what we can do. And then I'm going to contact Viesa. That you probably would want greater sending, or you're going to have yes. to send like five messages, right? Right. So. Oh, right. I got you, because it's two minutes. Yeah. So, coffee, Sten, Viesa. Okay. <clears throat> when you talk to Viesa, find out if... Um, uh, never mind, I'll tease her when we see her. You're horrible. You're no, I just want to make her. sure that I'm going to be in the wedding. I'll stand up oh, with her, of course. Oh, my lord. <laughs> um, one What's of really funny is earlier I was thinking, I wonder if she's going to want us to stand up in the wedding. <laughs> I mean, I should be her ma matron of honor. We are so close. Wow. <laughs> That should be a fun conversation. Indeed. Do you have a date? I'm going to say that. So when's the wedding? The time frame, so. Hilarious. But I'll, I'll end with that. Um, that's not something you start with. <laughs> mm. All right. I've had my coffee. I'm going to send a message to Sten. Okay. Good morning. What is your timetable for going out to the desert? As in, how many days until we go? 
Oh, um, hi. Um, I was thinking maybe tomorrow or the next day. If that's okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'll send her another one. Okay. Either day is fine. If you wanna leave on Wednesday if you wanna leave in two days, I think that's reasonable. Okay. I'll plan on that, then I'll let Athgar know that we're gonna go then. Okay, thanks. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you tell us that? Yes. Should so, we just go talk to Viesna? Hmm, we could. Let's do that. If you don't mind taking a story. We can use the circle in Air Moss, so. Right, Gwen is gonna be. You're gonna be okay doing your things today. Is she have, still here with us? Or are yeah, you gone? I have oh. no things to do today until this evening. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, all right, we should probably be back by then. Um, okay. Circle. Circle. We are allowed to go to the keep, aren't we? Oh yeah. Totes. Totes. Now we are, yeah. Are we bringing Emberheart? Yes. Yes. <gasps> Do you think Emberheart and Synchron will like each other? I don't Ooh. know. Um I don't were you know here if she can... when I was explaining that Emberheart really likes Zek's taste. Mm. Do you think Cobalt tastes like chicken? I'll ask the next time I cast. <laughs> Right. What do we taste like? That mm. chicken. <laughs> he did not mention that we were tasty in the way that Zek is. I guess that's good. Uh, is it? Uh, I mean, hmm. here we tell Zek it shouldn't be a problem, and Zek's like, mm, might be. Um, <laughs> might be. And that's why we'll take Emberheart wherever we go. Right. Um, Better not a- tempt him. So, question, just out of curiosity, DM, do most hunters and stuff bring their pets in, or do they leave them outside the places? It kind of depends on the location, I think. Okay. In Bolinamard, it's common for people to bring, you know, their hunting dogs or Mm -hmm. whatever. Um... In the in the inner enclave, never done. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Um, with, yeah, I didn't think say, so. Say JoJo's, uh, probably not a common occurrence, as most of the people who go in there are sailors. Right. Um, I would think. But a that, cat lives there. Yeah, and I would think occasionally somebody may come in with a bird on their shoulder. <laughs> Hashtag sailors. Yeah. I mean, we could always drop him off at Gwen's house there, too, if we wanted, or leave him here, whichever you want to do, Gwen. I'd like to introduce him to the staff and let him know that this is another home. Excellent. So we will go to the keep, and then Gwen's house, and then JoJo's. And so I teleportate circle all of us. Oh, sorry, Amber Hart. Hold on to your. Have you ever talked? Did you talk to him, Gwen, to find out what he thought of the teleport? I, d- I did not ask. Although ask he, next time. Yeah. he seems a little, um, he seemed a little surprised by it. So I'm literally just going to like tell him what I'm doing, like whether he knows what I'm saying or not. I'm going to be like, okay, so we're going to do the teleportation circle. And last time, just like I would any fucking dog in my own life. Like, let me tell you all the things we're about to do here. It's gonna load you up, take you to the vets. They're gonna hold you down, give you a shot. I mean, you know. Right. Because, you know, that's what you do. <laughs> and so then 
the very last second, you follow your mom into the circle. <laughs> so then I finish the circle and I get in. Okay. And Emberheart just kind of looks at Gwen and then just walks into the light. Yay, I couldn't see it, but I'm glad. <laughs> He's and getting used to it. You appear in the keep uh, in the basement and there are a couple uh, army guards who kind of snap to attention and it's an Sorry. interesting it's an interesting combination of reaction they snap to attention they see it's you and relax and then they see the wolf <laughs> I wish there was a better way to, like, ring through and tell you that I, we were coming, but hey, we're here. And I just, like, make towards the door. This is Emberheart, and he's with me always. All right. Spread the word. That's new. The four has a, pe a, a wolf <clears throat> now. Yeah. Of course you do. I whip my head around. As I'm close to the door, and I was like, is there a problem? He looks at his companion, and his companion says, We don't have any specific instructions about animals, especially not when they're being accompanied by you all, so <laughs> not at the moment. Do you have specific instructions about us? Uh-huh. What are they? Uh, be polite, let you out, and then tell somebody. Well, you might want to work on that first part. They were polite, weren't they? That's, yes. why, I, that's why I snapped around. He's like, of course you do. That's why I was like, oh. are we going to have a problem here? Irritation level. Yeah. Oh. Like, that was less than polite. No, I think he was just surprised. Well, he can be surprised in a I nicer tone of I think he was not voice. surprised. <laughs> that we're up to something else, uh, but I, we all took it very differently. I seems. didn't mean anything by it. I just, you know, um, I guess the rule, the uh, my rule for you all is just don't ever be surprised. <laughs> Probably smart. And I hold the door open for everybody else. And then after everybody else goes through, <laughs> and I walk out. And the other one goes, Ooh, I would not want to be you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a few sidelong glances as you make your way out of the keep. Damn, I didn't get his name. Every time, every person that gives a sidelong glance, I give them the beady eye. I like, also give them the beady eye. I smile and wave. Mm. <laughs> Once you get out onto the street, however, there's only a couple people that do double takes because casual glance, they just assume it's a dog. Mm -hmm. A big dog. Mm -hmm. but a dog mm -hmm. but you know there are a couple people who you know look and then look back like wait that's a wolf and they maybe walk a little bit further away but that's all so are you so are you going to take Emberheart to Gwen's parents' place, or are you going to take him to the Shouting Pirate? To Gwen's house, not Gwen's parents' place. I Gwen's... thought Gwen sold her house. Are you thinking about Arabelle, not Gwen? Oh, right. God, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's yeah. okay. I was very fucking okay. I knew exactly Parents are super it. dead. That's what I yeah. was going to say. I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't recall. Sorry, yeah, but I was dead. thinking about Arabelle. So. She gained, she gained a grandpa, but yeah. All right, okay, and that's fine. Alcohol. Yeah, but so alcohol, you know, whatever. are you gonna, are you gonna take 
Ember Heart to the estate, or are you going to take him with you to the Shouting Pirate? Um, well, are we all going together to both of those locations, or are we separating? Well, I think we were going to get CVS, so we would go through the Shouting Pirate back down to her place. So if you want to bring Ember Heart, it's probably fine. Okay. Well, I, I thought we were all going to the thing and drop and like waiting oh. for Gwen to, but that's just me. I don't know. We can do it in whatever order. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Let's just go together to the Shouting Pirate and then to the estate. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So we head over to JoJo's. All right. After lunch or after breakfast, so it shouldn't be too bad. Right. Arriving at the Shouting Pirate, uh, it looks like it's not actually open yet. Mm. Hmm. Although, through the window, you can see Jojo moving around. Mm. We knock. I'll knock on the door. Oh, we just here like yesterday or the day before. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. The door Jojo? opens and... Jojo? Jojo? The door Jojo. opens and he's like... Well, good morning to you. Not a bad way to start your day, seeing some old friends. Holy crap, what is that? <laughs> this is Emberheart, and he's with me. You tamed a wolf. I wouldn't say he's tame. Oh, good. That makes me feel so much better. He's as tame as Synchron. Again, not... so much better. I'm just saying. Kiss Jojo on the cheek, go and pass him to go see Sinkrin. Uh, come in. <laughs> All five of you. <laughs> I cast Speaks with Animals, and I say to Emberheart, first, if you ever need to speak with me like this, do this to me. And so I indicate a motion that he can make to let me know to cast so that he can speak with me. Okay. Next, this person, and I I introduce him to Jojo, is like Pack. He's, he's part of the Pack. But he does not live with the Pack. Correct. He is a friend of the pack. It's like pack. But not living together. If you say, I will consider him pack. Okay. And he has an animal friend who is very important to him and should be treated with the utmost respect. We refer to him as Lord Synchron. And he is not what he seems. What, what does Lord mean? Very important. Pack leader. Not of our pack, but of... Somebody's pack. Jojo's pack. <laughs> <laughs> but... You said that one is our pack. Um, is there such a thing as as packs that have pack-like relationships? Like maybe an offspring's pack? It is not common, but it's like such that. Such things have happened. So, so Jojo has a pack that Lord Synchron is the pack leader of, and we are friends with their pack. Hmm. 
I then, wonder if Fiesta knows. Then I must pay respects. Exactly. Where is this pack leader? Right this way. And we go forward, and of course I give a deep bow and say, Lord Synchron, I would like you to meet my companion, Ember Heart. Ember Heart, Lord Synchron. And Synchron has been watching you since you came through the door. Not edible. But <laughs> I just gets, say gets from wherever up, I am. Walks over to the edge of the table and looks down at Emberheart and begins to make some strange noises. Noises Uh-oh. that you've not heard Synchron make before. And can, can Gwen understand him? No. She's got speaks with animals though. She does. Mm, okay. She can't understand this. Uh oh. And Emberheart sniffs once and then his ears go flat and he just drops to the ground. Oh my goodness. What is Synchron? Put that on the list. Whatever Synchron wants to be. Put that on the list. What is Synchron? <laughs> and Synchron, Not of this plane. Synchron hops down off the table, walks up, bats Emberheart on the snout once, then hops on a chair, hops back up on the table, and curls back up. Dang. I say to Emberheart, what did he say to you? He is pack leader. <laughs> I did mention that. <clears throat> I will wow. stay right here. What? I will stay right here. Is that oh. what he told you to do? Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, Good to know. Maybe Gwen needs to ask Synchron if she's allowed to parent yes. her person while. I would think if the- Synchron did not want Emberheart in here, Emberheart would be at the door right now. I will still ask as a sign of respect. Lord Synchron. Is it acceptable for me to bring Ember Heart here in the future? If it behaves. It will. I have explained that you are pack leader and he accepts this. Good. No disrespect is intended by his presence here. <laughs> I I turn to Emberheart and I quickly ask him while I still have time the questions that we mentioned before. I ask him what Zek tastes like and if we taste good and how he feels about teleporting. Um he tells you that Zek tastes like rabbit. <laughs> that you all taste like pig. Bacon. (laughs) And that he's still not comfortable walking into the bright light, but he doesn't mind not having to run long distances. Okay. Good to know. Uh, Are you asking him about uh, 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 Zach? I I did. I asked him what Zek tasted like. And does he want to continue tasting him in an aggressive manner? <laughs> I asked him if he inte- if he would like to keep licking Zek. Different. Yes. That's- in an in an aggressive manner. No. Does he want to eat him? You said he is pack. Correct. So you will not harm him, right? No, but I would like to lick him. <laughs> But you prefer to lick him because he tastes like rabbit, but not us because we taste like pig. Pig is good. Rabbit is better. I see. I see. Okay. Well, as long as you do not harm Zek and do not lick him if he does not wish to be licked. 
I think he does not wish to be licked. Consent is important. Mm. Okay. Right. Well, that's something I've not seen before. What? What were those noises that the cat was making? Um, I believe he was putting Emberheart in his place and making sure that Emberheart knew that he is uh, the Lord here. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about uh, about your dog misbehaving. That is correct. He now believes that Synchron is pack leader and will treat him with all the respect that comes with. Huh. Well, I'll be. That's something I had not heard of before. No, but you can also think of it as uh, he's the pack leader over you. You are in his pack. Uh, the cat. All right. I can't argue with that one. I mean, it's not like you haven't known that. <laughs> right. Right. Um, Jojo, is Fiesta still here? Uh, she's uh, probably down in her office. We we're hoping to speak with her about a couple things. Hmm. I could send a message and see if she's willing to come up. It might be easier since you're not open yet, if that's okay. Hmm. Sure. Stay right here. I'll be back. And he goes in the back room and you hear the trap door open and a couple minutes later you hear the trap door close. Well I asked one of the one of the gents down the bottom of the ladder if he would run and tell Viesa that the four are here and would like to speak with her if she's got time. So uh, your guess is as good as mine, but we'll know if she shows up. Do you not have a way to get a hold of her in her office, like a little button that has a little light down there? No. She's got two people posted at the bottom of the ladder. I don't see why I can't just send one of them. Okay. I was thinking sending stones, but they only happen once, so never mind. Like a bat phone or something? <laughs> so much, you like can't get pole, to the trap door, right? A pull, yeah, a pull thing to like, you know, like pulls a flap up that, you know, flaps that, I don't know, something. Wow. Meanwhile, it's stately Wayne Manor. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I love it. The shouting pirate. Right. Right. <sighs> well, while we're waiting, can I get you um, something to drink? Cider, please. Same. And perhaps a bowl of water for the pup. Oh, I, I can do that. Uh, Arabel, tea? Uh, yes, please. And uh, Zorith, what will you be having? Nothing, I'm fine, thank you. All right, well, if you change your mind, just say something. I will. So you sit up there and chit-chat with Jojo for... Probably about 15 minutes or so. And... I ask him when the Susarin start their travels. Mm. Mm. Well, I know that they don't always take the same route. Sometimes they show up in early summer. Sometimes they show up late summer, early fall. I suppose it depends on if they decide to go up around east or up around west. They'll be traveling in the southern part soon. I would think so. I assume it's, since it's getting relatively nice here except when it's raining mm -hmm. that it's probably pretty nice down there so that'd be good traveling weather for them. You ever miss it? If that's too personal, you don't have to answer. I miss it less now. 
that I'm actually back in touch with him. But I did. Although, still didn't want to go back. I miss traveling with them, but I'll be honest, I miss being out on the sea even more. Yeah. I bet. It's pretty awesome out there. Aye. Mm -hmm. There's nothing quite <laughs> like it when you first set foot on deck in the morning and you're watching the sunshine sparkle across the waves. Mm. It's like watching a sea of diamonds. Just beautiful. The desert definitely doesn't have the same smell as Irma, Miss mm. Holmes. <laughs> Aye. Nothing like the smell of salt and dead fish. No. I don't know. You know, when the wind's traveling from a certain direction and you feel that familiar grit in your undies, <laughs> you know, the desert really... It, it really has that profound feeling of home. Hmm. Well, no offense, but you can have it. <laughs> I stick with me wind and fishy smell. Why are you discussing fishy smell with four women? <laughs> I'm talking about how much better air moss smell smells than the desert. And you should know that. <sighs> I know. But it's just so much fun to tweak you. Well, uh, good morning, ladies. Good morning. And a puppy. Yes. Um, have we chatted long enough that, um, speaks with animals has expired? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I make a gesture for friend and point to the Essa. And Emberheart looks up at the table for like a good 15 seconds and then looks at you and slowly gets to his feet and walks over to sniff Viesa. And she offers her the back of her hand and then kneels down and, and begins to just pet his head. And you see, you know, again, the, the tongue lolls out and the jaw drops. And Well... That certainly solidifies that you're a friend. He's lovely. Thank you. I think so, too. <clears throat> What's his name? Emberheart. Hmm. That's much more creative than most of the canine names I've heard in my time. Well, he's not exactly a dog. Well, yes, I can tell. <clears throat> and he came with the name. Of course, you would know what he would prefer to be called. Yes. I'm too used to dealing with sailors and thieves. And they call them whatever they can manage to grunt when they're drunk. Understandable. Perhaps, perhaps a little less respectful than their companions deserve. Perhaps. I'm usually just astonished that they can get a single syllable out intelligibly. But, so what do we owe the honor of the visit? Well, <clears throat> um, we wanted to just check in and see if uh, you had found any traces of the Thwilnu in the sewers. Here in Erma, no. We did discover a few of their creatures uh, beneath Romani. Mm. But they were dispatched fairly quickly. That's impressive. They're not exactly easy to dispatch. I sent a very large group. 
And also we did kind of tell them, like water, right? Like we did kind of say that water helps, right? Well, she knows that they can drown, but... Oh, uh, okay. Well, the Thwill knew drown, but the didn't the water, like, tear the creatures apart? Yeah, it did. They, like, dissolved. Slowly. But I mean, there's not... There's yeah. not really a there's not really a <clears throat> fire hose spell, <laughs> which would be cool. Well, that would be cool. There is there is a create water spell. I have that. That'd be fun. I can uh, do it like a gallon, like gallon. There is a magic item called a decanter of endless water. There is, <clears throat> in fact, Mel has it. Yeah, one of my other campaign people. Hmm. But um, so far, it was just. I think there were less than half a dozen, and they were dispatched fairly quickly, and we saw absolutely no sign of any other creatures. And where they were coming in through, did they? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. We found them, we destroyed them. We looked about for any other creatures, did not find them, but we're maintaining uh, patrols. Just okay. in case. All but right, that's... The, the rest of the sewer systems that my people have uh, searched, we have found no sign. All right. Um, and then... That's the major towns, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, all of them. Really. Okay. okay. All okay. of them that are large enough to have sewer systems. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, mm. And then, what was the second thing? I think platinum. it was... Platinum yes, hammer. The, yes, the platinum hammer. Oh. Have you? Has there been any more? Oh, yes. Skirmishes are quite common now. Mm, in the beginning, it was all hoity-toity, right? Mm, well, it still is above ground. But... They have continued to attempt to uh, interpose themselves in my business. Oh. The few that we have managed to capture alive and torture for information have uh, indicated that they are under orders to interfere with us in every and any way they are able, to the extent that they wish to supplant me. Wait. Well. What? So this is about you. We can't let that stand. I'm well aware we have essentially declared war on the Platinum Hammer, but we do have to be careful because their legitimate businesses are so well proportioned as to appear legitimate to the constabulary in the areas that they are now operating. Uh, uh, more so than that town, which oh, name yes. I cannot remember? Uh, they have expanded from Costeds. They are now also in Kilcross. And we have found their operatives working in Romani Keep. Uh, that's Any good. sense of who's behind them? No. They're actually, they operate their, their workings differently than I do. I find it much more effective to let everyone know that I am in charge and let them know exactly what I will do to them if they betray me. The hammer, on the other hand, operates more on the anonymous threat. Their code is essentially behave or the last person you expect will gut you like a trout. Wow. getting people. And then I look around. Did I say that out loud? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> but so far, we've managed to maintain the upper hand because we are larger and 
we are learning their techniques. And once we have so learned, we're able to be much more effective in putting them down like the dogs that they are. No what, are what are their techniques? They prefer to obfuscate everything. Sounds very Jagravan and like. What do they look like when you get them and capture them? You oh, them. they're just ordinary person. people. Ordinary people. Do the they ever cuss at you in a different language? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, none of my people have reported such. Okay. The few that I've dealt with have already been subdued. I'm not allowed to subdue them myself. <laughs> subdue my people are very you. protective. Well, I just remember so, they infiltrated the Temple of Edos, the Jagavanans, I mean, and it wouldn't hurt them to have your <laughs> network here. So if you see anything that makes you think it's from the south, please let us know. I will. I haven't seen anything so far. But, again, I wasn't necessarily looking for it. I will spread the word to my people, and we will begin to pay more particular attention to anything that might suggest southern interference. It'd be a step up from their bandit runs. Indeed. Although that does seem to have died off. Yeah. Maybe they've refocused a different area. Perhaps. Biesa, uh, yeah. could, could we request a favor? Well, you're certainly welcome to ask. Would it be okay if we check to see if your memory has been altered? Or affected? Oh, absolutely. If it has, I want it back. Okay. Um, do one of you want to cast, or would you like me to? Um, I can do it. What are you going to do? Detect anomaly? Yeah. What level is that? I think it's one or two. I seem to recall it's relatively low level. Mm-hmm. It's pretty low. It's fourth for me, so... I'll not do it in case I need to do reverse. Well, I have reverse, but not detect, I guess. Oh. oh. Unless it's first level and... Mm -mm. No. no, it's probably fair. Athgar had it. We 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 bards don't get the detect. Oh, no, I thought you did. No. Okay, I will. In I can't do it. We get reverse, have... but we don't have detect. I have detect thoughts. Well, if I don't have to do reverse, I can do detect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll cast uh, <clears throat> detect anomaly on VS. The spell goes off without a hitch and reports no anomalous memories. Okay. Uh, it does not seem that you have any memories that have been modified, yes. Well, that's good to know. Would it also be okay if I cast a spell that would provide you with a form of magical defense against such mental intrusions? If you think I need it. Seems to me that you're in a position where a clever um, opponent would see advantage to taking control of you and your vast network. Now, does that stay? No. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. And she taps uh, a ring. Oh, on her I finger. see. This provides me with a mind shield. 
Oh, mind shield ring. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay. But I appreciate the offer. And I hope that you've also taken pains to protect Jojo as he could be used to get to you. Oh, dear. Would you do that? <laughs> Not willingly. Only once. <laughs> No. Wow. Maybe twice. <laughs> I keep that in mind. I have not willingly actually, only once. but I think I'll see if I can find another ring like this one. They can be our wedding rings. There you go. Oh, that brings me to my third question. Have you set a date? And she looks at Jojo, and Jojo just kind of blushes a little. So, uh, is that a no? We... We were talking about just... doing it. Okay. Well, that, just, I mean, you know. that that is... It's your... It's your ceremony. Whatever you want to do is fine. I was just curious. Well, I'm actually for, you know, something a little more official, but that hasn't, that suggestion hasn't been met with a whole lot of enthusiasm. Well, as I've told you, my life is full of unexpected things, and I'm simply afraid that something will come up and we'll have to call everything off and reschedule it, and if there are other people involved, then we inconvenience them. And so that you makes just them surly. want to get married? Well, uh, yeah. I, although, I think that we could, you know, try to set up a time and at least give it a go. I mean, it isn't certain that something had come up to interfere. And, you know, we'll only invite people who would understand if we had to cancel at the last minute. No, you could get married and then just have a big party. Yes. That was my suggestion. Because parties are easy to put together at the last minute. Yes. But... I'll, you, you could put together a party at the last minute and surprise everyone by actually having it be a wedding. Hmm. And she looks at Jojo and Jojo's like that's a thought. Mm -hmm. If no one knows that it's actually your wedding, they won't be put out if the party doesn't go. Well Very true. they'll be less put out. Eh. Eh. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. So, what do you think? Friday? What is today? Monday. Oof. We didn't make it. I mean, like, you guys do whatever you guys want to do, but I'm just saying we might be done busy Friday. But and that's okay. And We're heading like, into the desert. <clears throat> right. We're not leaving until, oh, Gwen. And then I say, uh, Stan was thinking about leaving. Day after okay. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So we would probably be in the desert for that. Sorry. But that's okay. Yeah, do it, you everyone. Know, do it. I'm just letting you know. Just we, we want you two to be happy and have the ceremony that you want. What would you think about maybe a week from today? Sure. A week from okay. today would be fine. Um. <laughs> Zora starts getting excited. <laughs> Do you have someone in mind to actually perform the ceremony? Uh, actually, I kind of do. Uh, my old chaplain from when I used to sail. Ah. He's retired on shore now. And if it's all right with you, I would 
kind of like to ask him if he'd do the honors. Oh, that's excellent. It's very sweet. That's fine with me. Fiesta, as... do you like to sail? The few times I've done it, it was for reasons other than pleasure, so I can't say that I've ever really given it much thought about whether it was enjoyable or not. It was a means to an end. Not sick, though. No. Be a great honeymoon. No. Oh. I smack Arabelle. Right. What? But where would we go? I mean, one of us might have just been thinking that I could, like, rent a boat for you guys for, like, a little bit. And they could just, like, go around. I mean, the beach places. down around Sandy Cove is beautiful this time of year. Sometimes you can even learn to swim. I already know how to swim. Oh. As does Jojo. I, of course, I learned from getting tossed overboard. Would a week from tomorrow allow you to contact any family you might want there, Jojo? Well. Really, it's just Kieran. No. Oh. Not your mother or brother? Or? Uh, they'll be busy. They'll be busy traveling. And uh, once they're out on their route, they don't deviate. Yep. I'll okay. see them when they come through. That's good enough. Your mother isn't traveling, though. Not to pry. I mean, Maybe he if you needed us to get in touch with her, we could help them. Well, if she's that's true. She's not... Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Plus, you know, a dragon might keep any unwanted trouble out of the wedding. <laughs> I'm relatively sure I can cover that myself. Aye, and I think it might discomfort some of the other people that might be coming. Big uh, dragon in the middle of the thing. Uh, I was thinking elf, but... <laughs> I'm not going to come in as a dragon. <laughs> Don't be silly. <clears throat> Do you want you her know. there? Oh, I, I wouldn't mind having her there at all. But I know that she's... <laughs> she's got probably more important things to do. If you want her there, we can... Invite her on your behalf. Uh, well, uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and extend the invitation? If she can come, wonderful. If not, we understand. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, presuming we're invited, I guess. Oh, of course, <laughs> you're going to be invited. In fact, uh. While I don't think VS has chosen her person to stand up for her, uh, I was kind of wondering, Tasha, if you would stand up for me. Well, sure. Excellent. I figure if anybody's going to tell the story later on, it should be somebody who tells a good story. Oh, I missed that. All of us stand up, yes? Tasha's just Tasha? me. Okay, Tasha's going to be JoJo's best person. Excellent. I really haven't given it any thought. But I suppose I should. You don't have to. You don't have to have anybody either. Uh, well, if he's going to have someone just for symmetry's sake, if nothing else, I should probably have someone yeah good idea well, it is I'll, a good idea I'll definitely give it a, at least a little thought I'll be waiting for your call <laughs> she's so Jojo bad. just starts to laugh <laughs> and Viesa just turns a very cool look. <laughs> I hope you have lots of time. Ooh! 
Oh. All the time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now be nice. I was. I I was talking to her. Oh, okay. When am I not? You've got a peculiar definition of nice. Well, it's practical. If there's no knives involved, I'm being nice. Back to the Platinum Hammer. Do you want <laughs> us to investigate? Well, I certainly wouldn't say no to the assistance. Okay. We will, we will keep that on our list then. As near as I can tell, they're still headquartered in Costas. Okay. We haven't been able to go there for a while, so it would be nice to visit. It might be a bit before we can get there, though. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, First, as I've said, so far we're holding our own. If you start to get in trouble, please let us know. Very mm -hmm. well. You have been our ally, and we will continue to be yours. That may be I the nicest thing anyone said to me in weeks. Well, I do my best. And that's why I want her standing up for me. <laughs> we'll be heading to uh, the temple before too long. The temple? You mean the sanctum? No. No, she means... Out of the gods' wrath. What in God's names are you thinking about going to that place for it at certain death? For them? Probably. Uh, no, I am afraid not, lass. Even as powerful as you all have gotten. <sighs> I wouldn't send a god down there. Well. We they... do know at least one. Hey, would you send him down there? I would. I mean... Uh, anyway, they... A -thon, but... They, um... They have something we have to recover, and so we have to go there. True. Well, can you do me a, one favor? Absolutely. Do it after a week from tomorrow. <laughs> can probably do that. We have to go set up a training area for orcs before we go. Oh, so you're going to get finally do something with the ones in the camp outside of town. Oh, no, yes. no. We're going to do something with the good orcs that are still in the Mm, That's right. We still need to do something with the ones the that are outside of town, too. God. Good no. orcs. Yeah, the orcs here are in army custody. We have orcs that are going to help us wage war on man. the slavers. Yeah. They're not fans of slavers, so we're going to train them to we, protect we the learned, desert. We, we, we discovered that in, in while we were dealing with Belenimard, we discovered that the orcs are not inherently evil. That they've actually been brainwashed by the dragons since birth. And if you take the brainwashing away, a percentage of them actually want to be good. I've never heard of such a thing. It was a shock to us as well. And but you're certain this isn't some form of subterfuge? Yes. Absolutely certain. Well, I'll be. Well, if you take a a, a, a small suggestion from an old mariner, mm. you're going to need to find some way to clearly mark the good ones from the bad ones, because most people are just going to see arc and shoot or swing. No, we've talked Luckily, about that. There's not a lot of civilization down in the desert, below Thunder's Edge is where I'm talking about, Gwen. No offense to your home. 
And if the Jagravanans think they're evil, maybe the Jagravanans won't attack at first sight and the orcs will have an advantage. Hmm. It's an interesting theory. I'll be interested to hear how it pans out. <sighs> yeah. Well, it seems like we all have our work cut out for us. I have to plan a party. Will it be here? What do you think? I think we close for the day, and we hold it right here. I'm fine with that. You might want to close for two days, simply so we have a day to prepare and then Maybe a day to celebrate. Three days, because you want a day to recover and stay in bed. Oh, we do that already. Okay. Jojo just kind of blushes a little bit again. It doesn't say anything. <laughs> Silly. All right, so a week from today, what time should we be here? Uh, well, uh, mid-afternoon. All right. That'll give us a good head start on getting the drinking before dinner and and we can keep the drinking afterwards. Sounds right. like a good time to me. Just remember, dear, not too much. We know what happens when you overindulge. And <laughs> let's just say, not that night. <laughs> Aye, all right. Fair enough. Now, keep in mind, this entire time that VS has been chatting with you, mm -hmm. she's been squatted down petting the wolf. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, if there's anything you need um, help with, please let us know. I will. I think we most likely have it well in hand, but should something unexpected arise, I will reach out. Sounds good. We'll see you in a week. Sounds like a plan, and uh, thanks, Tasha. Anytime. And uh, I, th I think we have one more stop, and we have to Head back to Thunder's Edge. I don't think I'll ever quite get used to how blasé you are about hopping all over the country. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you have a, a magic user who can just cast a spell. It makes it a little easier to be blasé. And we have teleportation circles <clears throat> available. I'm told that does make it easier. Oh, it definitely does. Yes, we were very lucky that we had ours gifted to us at our home. So. Yeah. We knew a guy. Hmm. Knew a guy. Speaking yeah. of which, how is young Athgar taking to the halls of power. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Well, you give him our best and tell him that if he can get away, he's more than welcome to come to the wedding too. We will invite him, for sure. That Indeed. would lend a certain air of legitimacy to the proceedings, wouldn't it? To have a lord there. I don't care about that. I just like to have all my friends there. That's all. I know, dear. 
I'm teasing. Someday I'm going to learn to figure out exactly when you are and when you aren't. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I'm take, all the spark, take all the spark out of the relationship. <laughs> no fun at all. Oh, wow. Well, safe travels however you do it. And uh, we'll look to see you in a week. Yes, sir. And if you need anything from me, feel free to reach out. You're always we welcome to ask. We will. And if you have the opportunity to blacken the eye of the Platinum Hammer in any way, I, I do hope you'll think of me and take it. Oh, I certainly will. Now that I know what they're about, absolutely. In fact, I might write a song. I look forward to hearing that. I know you do. I've heard you <laughs> earnest, but I don't think I've ever heard you biting. Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can whip up this week. All right. We'll see you soon. And, it's uh, been current another scrunch, but scratches. I offer Lord Synchron my hand to see if he will allow me to give him scratches. And he basically kind of leans forward and noses your hand, and then one rough tongue. Lick. I take my hand and and put it to my heart and say, Lord Synchron. And then I'll I'll call to Ember Heart. And uh, Viesa stands up with a uh, an obvious show of regret, like you know she would just sit there and play with Ember Heart for hours. And uh, Emberheart gets up and um, kind of hops up and, and puts his uh, two front paws on the edge of the table and looks at the cat. And the cat just kind of looks over at him and then looks away. <laughs> and Emberheart just hops down and then looks up at Gwen like, Okay, now what? Let's go. All right. We get outside. I have three questions. When we get outside. Okay. So the well, door closes. You exit the building, the door closes. Do you think we should get her a wolf for her wedding present? No. I think getting anyone an animal as a gift is sketchy. Just, you never know if that's really what they want. Okay. Um, for serious wedding presents, didn't we have an extra? Don't we have a ring of mind shielding in the hole, or is that, or did possibly, we possibly hear one? No, we might have actually, we might actually have one. Um, getting someone besides getting someone a pet, but they are um, when you have a pet, it's hard to do things. That is like, true. Go places and. She's got Leaving people, place. but yeah. What? Yeah. Maybe we can let her know where we, where Gwen obtained. We could Ember yes. Heart, and she could perhaps go there with maybe our we could name and maybe we could um, find someone to make her a stuffed wolf. <laughs> um, so yeah, I if you'll check, she's really a stuffed animal kind of person. Yeah. Our inventory because i feel like there was one i don't know if maybe yeah yeah or if athgar has it i don't know or if, if not maybe we can remember if there was one when we went to the tower um the other thing actually gwen is a question for you to maybe ask 
to see if she'd be willing, and then we could maybe offer it to Viesa as a wedding gift. If, have, um, what's we, her we name? Ha we have a ring of man man shielding in the in the, okay. in the in our loot. So do we want to take it back into them right now? Because they were going should. to use it as wedding rings. So. Yeah. Right. And yeah. then, um, maybe in a minute after, let me ask my question to Gwen, because maybe okay. we could yeah, give them both. Do you think that it's not Kerwin? What's your cook's name? <laughs> Kaylin. Kaylin. Do you think um, if they were interested, she would be willing if um, I could pay her to make their wedding cake? Oh, I bet she could be persuaded. Yeah, so let's offer. Do you want to ask her first or you think it's okay? Um, I gave Tosk Ascending Stone, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I will grab mine and say, Hello, Tosk. Are you there? Oh. Remember, it's you talk, he talks, that's it. Oh, oh they're only one use? Per day. Yeah, that's why I was saying. That's why oh, I was saying. Per oh, per day. Yes. Well, yeah, only one use per day, and it's it's like sending, so it's twenty five words, right? Yep. Yeah, but I mean, we're going to the house, so we could ask, and then yeah. Oh, oh right. And then we could run back. I, yeah. But, and then we can get the ring out and take it back. Okay. Oh, I was gonna do that right now. Oh, okay. if you want, I'll take it into her. I would have to like knock on the door and get in there and oh we don't necessarily oh, we'll do it we'll do it in a minute because yeah. i was like yeah it's i want to like not let joe joe know i guess so oh, God. yeah we'll come back the other dock way. way yes get all frisked and stuff i did not smile <laughs> Nikki smiles because it's fucking hilarious. What? So, where to? Gwen's house. Yes, okay. The manse. All right. The mana. Takes about five minutes to walk that direction. You're still getting the occasional double take. You're walking down the city streets with a wolf. I still give them the beady eye if they look at me, you know, sideways with my wolf. I'm they just don't look give at them... you. They look at the wolf. I still give them the beady eye. Okay. Most of the time they don't notice. Ember Hart gives them the beady eye. Hmm? Lunch, he doesn't care. Lunch later. <laughs> <laughs> What was Excellent. it? The, some comedy routine was like, you know, death, 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 bunch. Death, 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 <laughs> death. <laughs> I think it was Eddie Azard. Sounds right. But you arrive at, uh, at the estate. Um, the outer gate is open. The courtyard is, as always, warm, full of flowers. And I say to um, <clears throat> Arabelle, some of these flowers might be nice for a wedding as well. Oh, that would be lovely. They're always in season. If they weren't such a rowdy crowd, you could offer to host, but I wouldn't trust her friends in your house. <laughs> I wouldn't put my staff through that. I had thought of it. <laughs> I mean, I guess outside, but... Mm, right? <laughs> they're a little rowdy. Although the weather would be nice. The weather would be beautiful. All the time. Yes. True. So I uh, go to the main door and open it and say hello the house <laughs> um 
there isn't anybody in sight as you step in. So, I bring Emberheart in, and I cast Speaks with Animals. Okay. And I say, Emberheart, I introduced you to the Four Home. That is the home of our pack. This is my home. This is the pack leader's home. I know it seems odd to have different homes, but you are are now home here as well. The packs have different dens. Ah. This is my den. It is large. It is. And you are very welcome here. I'm going to introduce you to the people who maintain the den. They keep it clean, they make the food, and they are friends. They are also pack. Yes. Also pack. They are this den's pack. Correct. Yes. Very well. So, I go in search of Tosk. About the time you're done talking to Emberheart, Tosk comes around the corner. Good morning, ma'am. I thought I heard voices. <coughs> Welcome home. Thank you, Tosk. I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the four. This is my companion, Emberheart. I see. Very well. Emberheart, this is Tosk. What do I do? Um, would you like to smell his hand? If he is Pack, then yes, so that I may know him in the future. Tosk, would you hold your hand out for Emberheart to peruse? If you wish. And he just extends his hand out and down, and Emberheart comes up and sniffs, sneezes, and then steps back. I have just been dusting. Oh, <laughs> his nose is very sensitive. Please apologize for me. I tell Emberheart he was just dusting. Uh, he apologizes for the uh, slight to your sensitive nose. It was not pleasant, but... <laughs> The slight is forgiven. I tell Tosk, uh, he has, I've told him that you are a member of my pack. I do not believe I have ever been identified as such. I am not certain how I feel. Okay, well, it's meant to be a compliment, so I hope that you'll take it in the spirit in which it was meant. As you say. Is Gerta here? Of course. Would you ask her and Kaylin to join us if they would? Kaylin is currently not on the premises. She is uh, shopping. I see. But well, I we can will wait fetch, until she returns. I will fetch Gerta. And he walks around the corner. You know he's headed for the back stairs. Yes. He doesn't have to. I'm sure she's here. <laughs> she's probably hanging in a doorway. And he turns the corner and you hear the door to the stairwell open and close. And then you see a very slight little figure come around the corner from the other direction. And she, you know, big smile on her face and she takes a deep breath and then sees Emberheart and just freezes. Girta, don't panic. This is my companion, Emberheart. 
Emberheart, this is Girta. She is Pack. Forgive me, lady, but that's a very big animal. Yes, he's a wolf, and he's with me. He will be around a lot, so if you wouldn't mind, if you could extend your hand toward him, he will... He Fight will, it off! No, he will take your scent and know never to harm you. She very tentatively holds her hand out and Emberheart just trots over and sniffs and then cocks his head and sniffs again mm. and sniffs one more time. She smells like flowers. Girta, he says you smell like flowers. Does he eat flowers? No. <laughs> well, then I you suppose a... that's probably a good thing. Would you like to pat him? No, I'm fine. Okay. Do you know if uh, Danura or Vok are around? Um, somewhere. Well, if you could find them, I would love for them to meet him as well, just so that we can get all of the introductions taken care of. Okay, so she heads off and uh, eventually um, the two guards come down right about the time that Toss comes back down and tells you that he can't find Girta. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> um, and... Uh, Emberheart is introduced to both of the guards, uh, who seem to have a much more relaxed attitude towards there being a wolf. Cool. Um, yeah. So it's probably about half an hour before Kaylin comes back. And uh, she comes through the door with... Uh, arms full of bags and there are two children following her who are also arms full of bags and she says you can just sit him down right there and uh, here you go three copper each just like I promised is that a lot or not a lot because I have no idea how money works in this game like for for kids uh, three copper is great for, you know, just carrying some stuff from one place to another. Because in my head, I equate coppers to pennies, and it's just like... Right, but because, remember... Because, so like, a silver, a silver to watch the thing, and then, like, I would have given her more gold. Uh, uh, Gwen offered a gold a day, right? And to me, that is still, like, not enough, but my brain does not know which denominations are... It is appropriate, appropriate to think of copper coins as pennies, but this is the era of penny candy. Okay. So, you know, so, for the so, kids, they basically can go to the candy store and get a nice little haul of candy for three copper pieces. Okay. Okay. I just, yeah, I was like, mm, yeah. If you look in the um, Atlas, Jeff's got like costs for some of the like at the shouting pirate and other places you can see how far the money goes okay i will look it up yeah and she it goes pretty far she turns around and sees all of you standing there and sees the wolf and just kind of stops and raises an eyebrow kaylin welcome home <clears throat> thanks did they didn't we have Emberheart when they were there for the funeral, or did we get Emberheart after? After. Oh, okay. Because where would we have put him? Right. <laughs> so, I hope you don't expect me to cook for him, too. Well, Because I no. have no idea what a wolf eats other than meat. Well, right now, uh, he's 
taken care of, but eventually if, if we're here, if there's just some plain meat that you could provide, that would be lovely, but that's not something that needs to happen today. Good. Because I've just done the shopping <clears throat> and I don't have anything to spare. Everything I bought is accounted for. Of course. In a recipe. So, but if I know you're coming, I'll stock on extra meat. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Um, would it be okay if I introduced the two of you so that he would recognize you in the future and know that you are um, part of the pack? <laughs> sure. I don't see why not. She sits the bags down and just kneels down and holds her hand out. And he just, Emberheart just kind of looks up at you like, yes? I give her him the nod. And he trots over and sniffs her a couple times and then turns around and walks back to you. Thank I've, you. I've been around dogs before, so I know, I know how that works. I figured it would work the same way. It does. And I have a favor to ask. Hmm. All right, go ahead. You may know of our association with Jojo and Viesa. Uh, I know Jojo. He's, uh, he runs the Shouting Pirate. Right. I don't think I know Viesa. Okay. But... Well, she's a fairly influential person in some circles. Hmm. All right. And they are planning to wed in one week on Ooh. Friday. Wow. Is she pregnant? She's not, as far as I know. Then why is this happening so fast? They are not wanting anything formal. They just want a <sighs> celebration. Their lifestyle is also kinds of moving parts, lots of moving parts, so... Oh, right. All right. Um, he is... He has a love of the sea. She has a love of him. <laughs> and I was wondering if you might be willing to make them a wedding cake. Oh, yeah. That wouldn't be any problem. Something nautical or sea-themed, perhaps? I'll see what I can come up with. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I can come up with something. Uh, how many people am I making a cake for? How many did we figure? Um, um, how many does a one size make? Like, a round cake. And I give like a, a normal round cake. How many people does that I make? I would think probably 50. I was thinking 30, but yeah, 50 might be better. And then we'll right. have cake left over. So, um, do you want it big and flat or do you want tears? I would think a few tears, but more on the side of whimsical than formal. More we, fun. We can find out and tell you in a bit. Or are we surprising huh. them? I think we're surprising we're... them. Well, I think we... we should tell them so they don't arrange oh. another cake. Yeah. And ask, like, their flavors and stuff. Yeah, so we can confirm the number of people. But All right. Right. Even if you had to... I'll... I mean, sometimes you do the tiered cake and then a flat cake for serving extra. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've got time. So okay, whatever, whatever you need, you just let me know. Thank you. Uh, this, I think, would be... Uh, the the highlight of the of the party huh? that and the alcohol of course well <laughs> of course all right great thank you yeah, just... Tosk is there anything else that is going on with the estate that I should know everything has been very quiet it's been I'm sorry. wonderful <laughs> that's great um, Kaylin, is, was there anything else you wanted me to know? No, um, just, you know, as usual, if you, you know you're going to be here, 
you know, yes. heads up so I can make sure I've got enough food for you all. Absolutely. We're not staying right now. We're just uh, popping in. I wanted to introduce Ember Heart to all of you so that you wouldn't be startled if he shows up at some point. Right. Good idea. Tosk, a couple of questions. Yes, um, ma'am. First, would it be okay to raid some of the gardens for this wedding if, if, uh, if they are interested in having some flowers? Of course, ma'am. They're your flowers. I thought I would ask. I know that you have, that you carefully tend to them, and I wouldn't want to read them without telling you. I would request that you simply make your needs known to me and let me harvest them. But you may take as many as you wish. As I said, they are your flowers. Thank you. That would be much appreciated. The next question has to do with Ember Heart here. Um, I would like him to be comfortable when he and I are here. Do you think that between now and perhaps the next few weeks, could you arrange for one of the doors to have a a doggy door, a a way for him to exit and enter on his own? Flippy flap. If that is your wish, we can certainly accommodate that. That would be wonderful. Just that gives him some independence. And as a wolf, he's not used to being treated as a pet to be let out. He would rather, I'm sure, come and go as he pleases. Very well. I shall make the arrangements. With that in mind, perhaps also a a space in my room that could be for him with a bed and a, some places for food and water oh yes that can easily be done many of the other estates have resident homes so I am certain that such things are easily acquired excellent I think we just need to find ways to make our good friend here comfortable during his stays as you wish um, there may be occasions when I cannot take him with me on an adventure. I will try to bring him with me whenever I can, but there might be the occasion where I send him here. So if he were to simply appear, please take good care of him. Yes, ma'am. I, I suspect he'll be able to take mostly good care of himself. But if you could arrange for him to have food and water available, that would be much appreciated. Of course. What? Mm. What yes. does the backyard look like? There is no backyard. There's, there's only a there's front yard. only the courtyard. Could you like make a little area in the courtyard and like run around and do things? Well, I mean the whole f- the whole courtyard is I like mean, a like park. Fun things like it- jump on tires and. Well, uh, okay, were were they were? Is there an area where he can hunt? This is the city, probably yeah, not. So no, no. Okay. He would have to be taken out of the city. Okay. You could get rabbits. Keep rabbits out on the property. No, that would affect no. the that was affect the flowers. Sorry, never mind. I digress. It's okay. Um, if he were to be here, he'd he'd have to be a city wolf. Mm-hmm. Poor baby. Well, he'd have no, yard I mean, yes. and no, no. I'm know. sorry. It's okay. We'll be fine. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you both, and we'll be in touch about the cake and the flowers. Right. I'll start getting uh, the, the the basic ingredients, and then we can tweak however you want. Excellent. Thank you both. You are All very right, welcome, folks. Ma'am. Anything else that we need to do while we're here? 
All right, let's head out. We back can to JoJo's. go back or we can send us a message. Oh, she can't, right? With mind shielding is different than sending. We've sent her messages before. Yeah. You can s- I mean, we could just send a message. Uh, and then but we need to, to bring the ring, right? Yeah, we're going to have to take a ring. To over well, to her, yeah, so. I mean, yeah, in case we can't be there or something happens. Right. Ring of mind shielding. Read, read your thoughts. Determine whether you are lying, know your alignment, or know your creature type. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Ooh. Hey. No, hold on. Please hold. <clears throat> Jeffrey Sir DM. Mm-hmm. If I were to cast Detect Magic on this ring and think about it, really delve in there, could I find if someone was already in there? That was the whole reason we didn't give the ring up the first time. Um, I think we would have one? to put it on. And what? A in tune? fire? Well, once you attuned to it and put it on, you would know if there was a spirit in the ring. You wouldn't necessarily know who, but you'd be able to tell if there was one. All right. Hmm. Well, we should probably take an hour to do that. I think that would be smart. Yeah. Uh, I am going to... Hmm. Well, it says you can telepathically communicate with who's wearing it, so you'd be able to ask who's in it if there is, right? So... Mm-hmm. If I attune, though, right? Yeah. While wearing... I guess it can communicate with you. Only if you allow it. No, it says aware can't prevent the communication. No, it says creatures can telepathically communicate with you only if, if you the allow end, it. Though, with the creature that's in it, it can talk to you all anytime it wants. You can't stop the if there's a soul in there. Yeah. At the very bottom when it talks about the... Oh, creatures in general. If you tell, if you tell somebody that they can telepathically, like if you tell Bo, Bo, Bo or uh, that yeah. they can uh, talk to you, then it's allowed. But right. No, I'm saying if there's something, if there's a creature in the ring, yeah, it can talk to you, and you can't stop it from talking to you. If you are wearing it and attuned to it. Right. Okay. Well, I think we should probably stick around and let me attune to it. Mm-hmm. Just because I'd like to give a unfettered ring to our friend. So I am going to... Is that okay, everybody? And then I'm going to go up into my normal room and I'm going to open up the stupid uh, uh, wall of holding. (laughs) Portable hole. Grab it out. Um, What are you unattuning? I am unattuning my... Teleportation circle ring, just for a moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, and... she's a. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no, that's fine. I'm good. I now. have a question. Gate master question. The. Do we have a bag of holding too? Yes. Or just. Yeah, how, well, I think I also have a bag of holding. How big can the opening of a bag of holding get? Like, how big of something can you put in a bag of holding? It says, hold on. Where's my bag of holding? Bag of holding. Uh, two feet in diameter at the mouth and four feet deep. That's what it appears to be. Um... It actually can hold up to 500 pounds, not exceeding a volume of 64 cubic feet. I would say two feet in diameter. Yeah. Did that help? You can't put somebody in a bag of holding is really what I was asking. Oh, you can. But it's only two feet. It's, yeah. Around, I mean, like two feet around. You can skiff me and maybe two feet. Maybe. But like we couldn't put the wolf in there. 
Oh no, because they would die. No, it, that's not what I'm asking. Well, I'm says, just asking oh, size-wise. Breathing, breathing creatures can inside the bag can survive up to a number of minutes equal to I, ten divided by the she's number. She's not of asking creatures. that. I'm she not asking, asking about the breathing. I'm just asking. Could we put the wolf in the bag of holding? Uh, maybe it would require a dex check on Emberheart's part to be able to squeeze into that space. Okay. Why? Well, I was just, if we needed to protect him, I have that necklace that allows you to breathe anywhere, the necklace of adaptation that we could put on him. I was just trying to think of if we needed to get him safe, if we could get him in the bag. But... Well, with the ne necklace of adaptation, you could also have him sit in the hole. Right, but it's easier to open the bag, bag of holding in the middle the of something hole. than the portable hole. So. Yeah. That but is super did, smart, young lady. Did we decide if we could, if he could attune to something? I thought we agreed he could. Yeah. Well, we had put stuff on him. Mm -hmm. Right. He would have attuned to all the things that we put on him overnight, I'm sure. Right. Well, some yeah. of the stuff I don't think had attunement, right? But I was just thinking that would be, at least if we had to put him somewhere. Emergency. It's, yeah, it says uh, you can breathe normally in any environment. So that should work, right? Is it attuned? Uh, it does require attunement. That's why I don't have it on. But He's got three things on, I think. Oh, okay. Is he not, Gwen? Mm -hmm. yes. Is that all a retired attunement? Yes, he has, he has a ring of protection, a cloak of protection, and bracers of defense. Oh, all three okay. of which require attunement. Okay. Never mind then. Well, I mean, like, if we knew in advance... Ring of protection, cloak of protection, and bracers, right? Yeah, so you could take the, the, the cloak off. Mm -hmm. and put something the, like that the oh, yeah i mean if we knew we were going somewhere we probably would teleport him somewhere but right okay i was just curious that's Sorry. a real good idea though all right it also would work on any of us just saying we needed to hide in a hole Actually, good <laughs> at point. the end of the hour uh you become aware that you have attuned to the ring I... Hello? <laughs> Wiggle it around and I do that. I'm like, hello, is there somebody in here? <laughs> no response. I send a message to... <laughs> Obris. <laughs> Just like a... Creator sending. Okay. Hey! Sorry to bother you. Uh... How can you tell if there's someone in a ring of my own sh mind shielding or not? Well, well, hmm. That's a very good question. I believe... Uh, I don't have personal experience with one of those items, but what I remember from uh, my studying such things is that if there is a spirit in the ring, you would be able to tell. You would be able to sense uh, another consciousness in the ring. And I squint my eyes really hard while he's talking. Uh, you're not getting anything. It, you, you, you sense, for lack of a better way of putting it, you sense a space that could be inhabited, but it doesn't seem to be. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Happy to be of service. I'm gonna close it. Okay. I, I concentrate super fucking hard. Like tap tap tap. Doesn't Boop. change. <laughs> Doesn't change. Sorry. Nope. What'd you say? Boo. Boop. Boop you on the nose. No, I was <laughs> thinking yelled boo in your head. Boo. Right. Um that'd be hilarious. Alright, cool. Sorry. How do I disentune this? Take it you, off. You have to take it off, and then at some point you'll have to reattune your other ring. Right, right, right. So I take it off. Um, rings like these, they can't be fancy adjusted or colored or anything like that, right? Right. But they are auto fit. Right, so right, you don't right. Have, to have them sized. Right. I'll have matching brain rings. Right. At least they'll match. Yeah. So I take it downstairs. I see nobody. 
Nobody's in there as far as I can tell. Are you happy or disappointed? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm happy because I don't really have to want to have to fight somebody just to give him the ring. <laughs> All right. Because All right. we got it from Strassman's, right? Mm hmm. It could have been somebody. Could have been him if we hadn't gotten it off of him. It could have been somebody. It could have been it a could contender. Have been somebody. Could have been a contender. Okay. All right. So All right. Back, wizard. back to the shouting pirate. All right. Mm -hmm. Or me. no, you were gonna go. You were gonna go uh, in through the 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 entrance under the docks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um. You. As you enter the tunnel, you get the sense that there's somebody there. But yeah, we, they, do we knock? I mean, no, we they don't. They don't say anything, and you don't see anyone. Sorry, we're here to see Viesta. We just keep walking through. Yep. I know you. You know? Can I tell her? You know where her, where her like little tavern is? Right. We've been to her office, but not mm -hmm. with somebody taking us there. I think. Mm -hmm. Did I remember how to get there? I think I think we would. We've been here quite a few times. True. To at but least we'll, we'll, the tavern. We don't yeah, the tavern. You, can, you can get to the tavern easy enough. Okay. Um, you get there. You open the door. You walk in. Everything's brightly lit, and it's empty. Poop. <gasps> Question. Yeah. Um. Uh. Would I know? No, I wouldn't. Direction-wise, where she would be from here, like mm, her. No. All right, I just do ascending. Got it. Well, about thirty seconds after you walk in. Oh yeah. She walks in from a door in the back. Oh. Hey, long time oh. no see. <clears throat> Sorry, we had to come in the other way. Twice in one day, people will talk. It's a secret, though. We, we have a couple things for you. I raised my eyebrows a couple times. Oh, I have this. And I hand her the ring of mind shielding. And she looks at it and goes, Oh. We wait. have a couple of wedding gifts for you. Thank we, you. We, that we, makes we, it we. much easier. There's nobody in it. That's good to know. <laughs> That's um, gift you know one. That, wait, wait. You know that 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 yes. is one of the options. Okay, thanks. Yes. That's gift one. The, gift. Oh. The other gift is if I'm you are. Oh, sorry. You go ahead. You tell. Okay, go ahead. No, you started. Go ahead. We were wondering if you would be interested in flowers and cake. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it wouldn't be appropriate for Jojo to make his own wedding cake. I hadn't thought you about that. You may or may not know that Gwen has quite the acclaimed chef, and oh, she has agreed Kayla, to make, yes. your, really? make your wedding cake. That's gift two. Well, I accept. And a few flowers, I suppose, wouldn't go amiss, but nothing, nothing extraordinary. This is, after all, going to be a fairly low-key event. Maybe About how many... Oh, go ahead. Little things on the table or something. Sure. You'll, need, you'll need to let us know how many people and what kind of cake you'd like. Oh, um, well, I know for a fact that Jojo has a, a, a profound sweet tooth for chocolate. So chocolate with chocolate frosting sounds wonderful. 
And in terms of people, and she scrunches her eyes up and just kind of is thinking for a second. Uh, 37. Well, so about well, 50. 41 with, with you four. Do, do I include the wolf? That would be 42. Well, I don't think he'll be having cake. No. Especially well, if it's chocolate. Uh, of course. But, uh, yes, so uh, including you four and the wolf, that would be 42 people. So if we got for 50, then you guys would have a little extra. Yes, that would work. I um, don't know that all 42 will actually attend. A little extra, extra cake. I know that Jojo said that because the Susaran will be traveling, they wouldn't be here this early. If his brother is willing to come, I mean, we could bring him and the whole, ch you know, caravan wouldn't have to come. Do you want us to ask? Because we're going to be teleporting here, so. I don't see why not. And definitely if one of you has an easy way to contact his mother. Sorry, does. Then I would ask that you let her know and let her know that she's more than welcome. I mean, she could also bring. If, if I get, is it Ormond? I get all the O's. We have Aloric and Osman and Ormond, right? <laughs> it's Ormond. So. It's been a long time since I've looked at that character, so. I think but it's Ormond, so. and Osman is the. Sandy Cove. Yep. And mm -hmm. then we have a Loric and there's no more O's, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> Azoric or something is next. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. No. Right. All right. Well, I thank you very much for the ring. It saves me the trouble of having to steal one. Always oh. glad to help. I mean, if you wanna. I, I just figured it'd be easier. Well, we, had we, got, we got it fair and square. It means that I can set those who I would have put to the task of stealing one to work on something else. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes you feel better about the stealing. We did loot it off a dead body, so. Oh, well, fair I thought square. you might appreciate that. <laughs> that does sweeten it a little. He needed to be dead. As and we, many people do. And his ring was a bonus. Well, I thank you. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you in a week. I hope so. All right. So how are you getting home? Circle back to the four home. Question. Mm -hmm. We are in Irma. We want to run back to Gwen's house and let her know about the cakes can, and things. We can just message. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. you could use the stone for. We're in Irma. Do we want to contact anybody for anything? See how the orcs are doing. What are we going to do with the orcs long term? Like, we're here. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to do? I was we talked say, to the oh. orcs uh, that are in the camp outside Erma are not your responsibility. Oh, they're no longer our responsibility. Nope, the no. army's got them. The army has them. Okay. And we're going to deal with the Blenemard orcs in a couple days, working with Den to find a home for them. We just saw my family like a week ago. Because it's only been a few days, right? Since yeah. all this happened, so. We've been to the tower and the sanctum. I think we're good to go. <laughs> Actually, could we swing by my my estate for just a moment? Absolutely. Sure. All right, okay. so you head back out, head back across the East Bridge, back to Gwen's estate. 
Um, so I'll just take a few minutes to chat with the staff. I'll tell Kaylin about the details of the cake. Okay. Um, I'll talk to Tosk about the details for the flowers. And then I'll ask him if he can cut a large basket of flowers and put them in water for me to take with me. You mean uh, today, now? If you wouldn't mind. No, it will take a, a few minutes. I can wait. Do you have a particular color in mind? I think a variety. Very well. I shall get to work on that immediately. I guess if there are flowers that are more romantic, that would probably be a good thing. Understood. And he goes to a cupboard and pulls out uh, a pair of leather gloves and uh, uh, a small, uh, small knife and uh, a basket. And heads outside. It takes him about 20 minutes. Next but time we're... Oh, He comes back in with the basket and um, basically says, it will just take a moment for me to uh, secure a few vases and a container with which you may carry them in. And I shall place them in water and then you will have your flowers. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Next time we're here in town and are here for just a few minutes, not today because we don't have time, we should go by and see the horses. It's been a while. Ah, yes. Yeah. Really long time. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. They're right. Yeah, my parents stable, but you know, make sure they haven't forgotten us completely. Indeed. I forgot we had horses. I did. <laughs> Uh, in a few minutes, Toss comes back uh, with a uh, a wooden crate, and in the crate are five vases, and each one is filled with a dozen flowers. Wow. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, will there be anything else? No, this is wonderful. Thank you. Very welcome. Those now, or? Uh, I was just going to bring them back with me. Oh, okay. excellent. Yeah, they're for they're for Gwen's use. Oh, okay, got it. Groovy. So, all right, are you teleportation circling or are you teleporting? Circle. Okay. To the house. Okay. Because that's. That's a thing, so. All right. Well, after 10 minutes of preparation time, the circle springs up open. Everyone steps in, including Emberheart. And you reappear back in your teleportation chamber in the four home in Thunder's Edge, and that's where we're going to stop. Hmm, okay. So, we'll pick this back up next time and see what the flowers are for and get out into the desert. And... Or not. Yeah. But either way, we'll continue this. So, uh, thank good. you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. And we hope that you'll return next time and let us welcome you back once more to the lands of a Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody.